Hey guys, welcome back to another video and yes, we're back in the living room. Although I kind of wish that I was in the office because it is so bright today and clearly there's something wrong with my blinds because they are all the way closed and light is still beaming through. So I'm in this little block of shadow between this beam of light and this beam of light. So as long as I stay here, I should be okay. <laughs> Although it does make a pretty cool top on my, a pretty cool top, a pretty cool pattern on my Jack Skeleton top. So, you know, it, it's not all bad. <laughs> I'm looking extra Tim Burton-y today. <laughs> ah, but we are here to talk about the fact that Preptober for NaNoWriMo is next week. Well, technically this week by the time this video goes up. It is very, very close. And I know what I'm doing for NaNoWriMo, because it's the big leagues, it's not just camps where you make your own word target, it is full on 50,000 words, all systems go. <laughs> and I know what I'm doing, because I said that I really wanted to finish my first draft, zero draft, whatever you want to call it, of the branded sequel, and that is still my plan for NaNoWriMo. I do want to finish that in NaNoWriMo. That would be fantastic. But as for Preptober, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, on one hand, I'm like, well, you already have the plan and everything set up for the sequel. You already have the character arcs and development and settings and a few bits. You know, you, you have everything planned out because you aim to finish these in previous Camp NaNoWriMo's but then motivation and the world went crazy so here we are. <laughs> I need to figure out a proper work schedule, I need to figure out word counts, word targets, that's, that's, the, that's the kind of thing that I really want to focus on for Preptober is what the hell am I going to be doing? Not what project am I going to be doing, but how the hell am I going to be doing it? Because <laughs> once again, I don't just want to go for 50,000 words. I don't want to just do the bare minimum. I mean, I got to 73,000 words before last year. I think, yeah, think so? Maybe? I want to say that. That sounds good. Even though my target, my personal target was 80,000 words. However, getting back into work now and how different everything is because the obviously looking after children the cleaning schedule is a lot more intense the actual work itself is a lot more intense because you can't be as hands-on as you were before because of restrictions even with toddlers there are still restrictions related to this virus and rightly so. I mean, I'm not saying that people are going too overboard with it and I'm not saying that everyone's being paranoid. I am fully in agreement with all of these restrictions and precautions that we are taking in work. But as a result, it is a lot more intense. So I am a lot more... I'm feeling a lot more drained when I come home from work and not as motivated to write as I should, even though I am getting back into a routine of making myself write when I come home. Not making myself as in forcing, because that just makes you feel even more drained, but just sitting down at the laptop and getting a few things out while I can. <laughs> I had a point with this, but I completely lost track. <laughs> I do need to figure out a work schedule. I need to figure out a time when in the evening it really, it really just fits well with the mindset that I'm in to sit down and write. And I haven't quite found that yet. That is what I need to be doing over Preptober. I need to find that rhythm and work schedule and time in which my mind is on enough to write, but still just switched off enough to not feel stressed. I don't know. <laughs> I need to see how many words I can do in a day and see if that will rack up to what I need to be doing for NaNoWriMo, because I, I am going to be doing a later video for my NaNoWriMo targets and goals. This is just my Preptoga, Preptoga? Preptober targets and goals. Oh my goodness, I can't talk! <laughs> Basically, my time management skills are completely out the window right now, and I need to reel those way back in. 
Time management while doing a full-time job is a nightmare. I mean, this time last year I had two jobs, but they were both not part-time, well they were part-time jobs, both of them, hence why they added up to one full-time job, but you know, there were days where I wasn't in either, there were still some days where I was just doing only one job and then had all of the afternoon, whereas this year I have one full-time job where everything is a lot more intense and the whole atmosphere, not just the atmosphere here, but the atmosphere of the entire world has changed. It is a brand new experience for everybody and Preptober is going to be a lot more intense and hard going because everybody is now getting used to this. No one knows what they're doing. <laughs> but if anybody out there does know what they're doing, please help me. I want to get my time management sorted. I want to calculate how many words I am able to do on average throughout the days of Preptober. I want to see how far I can actually go and then sort of have an estimate of how far I need to go to finish the book during NaNoWriMo. That, that is my main thing. Time management, word counting, and just seeing how far I need to go in the story. Because if I finish, then I'll be able to... Well, first of all, I'll be able to achieve one of my goals, but also I'll be able to incorporate the other goal that I had for this year, which was to completely re-edit the first branded book again. I don't think my target for NaNoWriMo is going to be as big as it was last year. I don't think I'm going to be as Ravenclaw about it and be like, oh, I can do this massive word count because of course I can. I'm going to push myself. I'm not going to be as Ravenclaw about it. I'm going to be more Hufflepuff about it. <laughs> I'm going to still give myself a higher target to work hard and push myself, but understand that limits are a thing and pushing myself isn't going to be as beneficial to me. <laughs> Raven Puffs Unite! <laughs> I'm honestly struggling a little bit more than I thought. I, I've said in previous videos that I'm happy because I'm getting back into writing and the unintentional hiatus I took from writing after the last Camp NaNoWriMo, I'm, I'm getting back on track, and I am, and I'm really happy that I am, and it just feels like I'm making so much more progress again, but at the same time, I do feel like I'm struggling, still. Um, motivation is getting back, I can feel it getting back, and I'm getting that spark again, and I'm really excited, but I do still feel when you have the motivation but not the energy and that's the kind of thing I'm feeling at the moment and it's not great but it's something that I can work on for the next month ready for NaNoWriMo. <sighs> uh, my brain. <laughs> uh, and there's so many other things going on as well and I, I've nearly been on YouTube for a year now which is insane and I uploaded my 100th video the other week, which is insane. I didn't even notice, and I feel like I should have done something big, because it's video 100, oh my god. But I didn't, because I just didn't notice. And that's not me saying, oh, I just don't take notice of things on my channel, because I do, I really do try to. I try to reply to all the comments, and you know, I try to interact with you guys as much as possible. But when it comes to counting how many videos I've uploaded, I genuinely have not been keeping track. And I'm sorry that I didn't do like a hundredth video special, but I do promise you that something big is coming on the way. I just need to figure out what the hell I'm doing for that. Because <laughs> that's another thing to stress over. <laughs> Unfortunately, Preptober just can't help me with that one. Ugh, Preptober. What am I doing? Oh. So time management, I'm going to record how many words on average I can do a day. I can see how far I can go to see how far I need to go during Camp NaNoWriMo. Not Camp NaNoWriMo, actual NaNoWriMo. We're not there anymore. We're in the big leagues again. I just need to get myself back on track and figure out what kind of targets are going to be realistic for me while still pushing the limit just a bit. It is... It has not been an easy year. It has not been an easy year. 
but that doesn't mean that we can't still achieve things this year. That is what I'm going with. It has been a tough year, but things are happening and they're going to be amazing. We're going to make them amazing because you make your own luck and amazingness in this world. So there we go. <laughs> I'm going to make a declaration right now. By the end of Preptober, I will have a writing schedule. I will have a set of goals for NaNoWriMo and I will have a better idea of where the hell I'm going with writing and hopefully I'll have that announcement for you. Who knows at this point? Ah, <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> so yeah, this vlog has been utter nonsense. It has been utter nonsense and craziness, but it is nice just... That's the thing. I love doing videos like this because it just gets my thought process out there. It feels more personal and it feels like I'm interacting with you guys more and keeping you updated. And it's just... It's just good. I like this. I like this a lot. <laughs> you guys are like my therapy. <laughs> oh, something else I need to get sorted during Preptober. I need to stock up big time on my reviews and my in-between -e videos between NaNoWriMo vlogs because I am not going to have the time and I'm fully aware of that. So that is something that I need to work on starting now. <laughs> Ooh, I need to, I'll make a to-do list. Let's make a to-do list. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a to-do list. I'll get started on that. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. I'm sorry that this was such a ramble, but I found it fun and I feel like it's more personal and interacts with you guys more. Tell me if you think otherwise. If you have any advice for me, please send it my way because God, I need it. <laughs> but I will see you all in the next video. Stay safe, have an amazing Preptober, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, my scribblers. <laughs>